My name is Colin Garcia. Raul Cruz. I'm Aaron Penny. And I'm Georgia Price. The, our school is Johnson County Early College Academy, and our teacher sponsor is Amanda Rowland. Our innovation is the Grotesque Grocer. Okay, I have a question for one of the judges and one of the audience members. Miss Lamb, how many people do you think, how many Americans do you think go hungry each night? I'll write that down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the correct answer is 50 million. Uh, Y'all are a little high. <laughs> um, <laughs> To put this in perspective, according to the, U the United States Census Bureau, in 2014, the population of North Carolina was roughly 10 million people. The amount of starving people is five times greater than the amount of the, the population of an entire state. Over 300 million pieces of produce are wasted annually, and 23.5 million Americans live in areas called food deserts. Food deserts are areas that are dominated by fast food chains such as McDonald's, Wendy's, and Zaxby's. With all these people going hungry, the last thing we need to do is waste food, but Americans generally throw out half the foods that they purchase. With the obesity rate rising in ex the obesity rate in America is rising exponentially, and eating unhealthy comes with serious long term risks such as diabetes, heart disease, and even cancer. Americans are not eating their recommended levels of fruits and vegetables, and the main reason for that is the accessibility and affordability of healthy produce. People in poverty tend to become obese, while healthy foods are left to rot every day. We have administered a survey of 69 people. Nine out of 10 said that healthy foods were expensive. 93% of the people said that they would change their eating habits if healthy foods were more cheaper. More than half said that they would throw out deformed fruits or vegetables just simply because of their looks. Our mission as the grotesque grocer is to obtain deformed produce from our local farmers and then sell them for 30% to 40% discount in grocery stores or food stands in low-income food deserts and around our community. Well, why these low-income food deserts? Because they are full of extremely popular, extremely cheap, and very expensive, or no, very unhealthy fast food chains. And what this does is it's going to make produce very expensive in these areas. People don't want to buy them. They're too expensive, so they'd rather go to a fast food stand, spend a dollar, and get a hot dog. Our food stands and grocery stores would not only sell the grotesque foods, but they would also contain samples of produce slices, smoothies, and even food cooked on site with our produce. The closest example we have is like at Sam's Club. This would increase the education of people with techniques of healthy eating, and it's going to promote a good diet all around the board. The deformed produce has the exact same nutritional value as their perfect counterparts, so why should we waste them? We should not let them rot. We should take them and do something with them. This idea would allow for people to eat healthy without eradicating their budget. This is going to increase accessibility, and it's going to promote education to eat healthy. Additionally, this would also promote farmers. It's going to give them an income for something that they would usually use as waste, and it's going to increase local grocery store businesses because it's going to make produce a lot cheaper. The cheaper the produce, the more demand there is. This is going to bring business to these businesses. In order to have a successful program, we need a way to sustain it. This will be done by dividing the proceeds. Proceeds will be partitioned four ways. 30% will go to the generous farmers who supply our produce. This money will serve as an incentive for them to continue supplying our produce, and it will also cover any extra labor costs. The next 30% will go to the grocery stores and farmers markets who house and sell our produce, as well as the food stands we create in food deserts to sell produce. 25% will go back into our program to keep it running. We need a solid foundation to maintain the program, so this portion of the proceeds will serve as just that. The final 15% will be donated to charities involving food accessibility and health. With this, we'll be helping bring awareness to multiple issues at once. By maintaining our program and supporting others, we can make North Carolinians and ultimately Americans healthier and provide them with cheaper produce. If we begin by spreading this idea throughout Johnston County in North Carolina and eventually expand into the United States, we can reach our ultimate goal of erasing food deserts.
course, these percentages are not set in stone and we are willing to negotiate. We need your help to implement the grotesque grocery. Thank you for listening to our presentation and we, hoped, we look forward to hearing that you have accepted our proposal.